let us solve another problem related to the pre stress loss the question was asked on no november 2017 for 16 marks let us go through this question and we'll solve this question the question is a post tension pre stress concrete beam of 16 meter span is subjected to an initial pre stress of 1458 kN the profile of cable is parabolic with the maximum eccentricity of 520 mm at the center of span the given data is like this cross sectional area of a beam is 2.42 into 10 raised to 5 mm square moment of inertia of beam is 5.30 into 10 raised to 10 mm raised to 4 area of steel is equal to 1386 mm square angles modulus of steel is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square angles modulus of concrete is equal to 3.82 into 10 raised to 4 newton per mm square mu is equal to 0.25 k is equal to 0.0015 per meter anchorage slip is equal to 2.5 mm creep coefficient is equal to 1.5 a or it is denoted by alpha it is equal to 0.13 and you have to find out the following losses determine the following losses elastic deformation second one shrinkage in concrete third one creep in concrete fourth one slip in anchorage fifth one frictional loss let us calculate first elastic deformation loss So first loss is elastic deformation loss. Basically, the given beam is post-tension beam. So when the wires are stretched, at the same time. The elastic deformation loss in post tension beam is zero. So let us assume that the wires are tensioned at same time. So the elastic deformation loss in this case is zero. Next, next is shrinkage loss. shrinkage loss is calculated using this formula epsilon sh into es where the epsilon sh is equal to shrinkage strain is equal to shrinkage strain so shrinkage strain is not given in question you have to find out the shrinkage strain the beam is post tension beam so use this formula for calculation of shrinkage strain it is 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by log of base 10 t plus 2 let us assume age of concrete is 28 days so epsilon sh is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by log of base 10 28 plus 2 so let us calculate this so 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 
log of base 10 so answer is 1.35 into 10 raised to minus 4 so then the shrinkage loss is equal to shrinkage loss is equal to 1.35 into 10 raise to minus 4 multiplied by the Engels model substitute is 2.1 into 10 raise to 5. So what is the multiplication? 1.35 into 10 raise to minus 4 multiplied by 2.1 into 10 raise to 5. The answer is 28.35. Newton per mm square. So, this is the loss uh, due to the shrinkage property of a concrete. The next loss is let us calculate the third loss. The third loss is 3 pin concrete. Third loss is creep in. concrete so the creep coefficient is given in question so you have to use the creep coefficient method to find out the creep loss so formula is phi into m into fc okay so the phi is a creep coefficient it is given in question it is 1.5 where the m is equal to modular ratio it is the ratio of angles modulus of steel divided by angles modulus of a concrete so angles modulus of steel is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 3.82 into 10 raised to 4 the modular ratio is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 3.82 into 10 raised to 4 the answer is 5.49 is the modular ratio <coughs> then how to find out the fc so fc is equal to stress in concrete stress in concrete at the level of tendon or at the level of wire so to sketch the longitudinal section of the beam so you can clearly show the tendon profile in longitudinal section ok span of beam is 16 meter it is clearly given a question ok this is the siege of concrete and the tendon profile is parabolic tendon profile is parabolic let fix this end and you have to provide the processing force here the maximum eccentricity at the center of the beam is clearly mentioned in question okay it is 520 mm so if you consider the cross sectional view at this location the tendon is having a sensitivity 520 mm if you consider the cross section view at this section ok so this is the cross section view at mid section this is the cross section view at end section <coughs> the value of fc is different different at both these locations so First you find out the FC 
at end section fc at end section so fc is equal to p by a so the pre-stressing force is given in question it is 1458 into 10 to 3 divided by the cross section area of concrete is also given in question 2.42 into 10 raise to 5 okay it is 1458 times 3 divided by 2.42 to 10 raise to 5 okay the fc is 6.02 Newton per mm square. Okay, let us check this value. Okay, 2.42 10 to 5. Okay, this value is correct. So, when you are finding the uh, pre stress at the end section, there is no eccentricity to the tendon. So, the P into E by Z term is absent. Now you have to find out the FC, FC at mid span section, mid section at this location. Okay, so the FC is equal to P by A plus P into E by Z. So, already we have calculated the P by A term, it is 6.02, okay, plus P into E by Z term is, it is 1458 into 10 raise to 3, multiplied by eccentricity is 520 mm, okay, divided by Z is I by Y. The moment of inertia is also given in question. It is 5.30 into 10 raise to 10. And y is the distance of tendon from the siege of concrete. It is nothing but the eccentricity 520. Because you are calculating the pre-stress at the level of tendon. Okay, let us check this value 1458 into 10 raise to 3 into 520 into 520 divided by 5.30 into 10 raise to 10. The value is 7.43. So 6.02 plus 7.43 it is 13.45 Newton per mm square is the value now to take the fc average that means fc at end okay plus fc at mid divided by 2 that means you have to take the average of this both the values average of this 6.02 okay 6.02 plus 13.45 divided by 2 so the fc average is equal to fc average is equal to 6.02 plus 13.45 divided by 2 so this is 9.735 newton per mm square is the fc in last problem, we have calculated FC using this formula. We not considered the FC average because in that problem, the tendon profile is straight. When the tendon profile is parabolic, you have to take the FC average. So then what is the loss? Loss due to creep. Okay. So the Creep coefficient is 1.5, modular ratio is 4, 
0.2049 and FC average is 9.735. So loss is 1.5 into 5.49 into 9.735. So the loss is 80.16 Newton per mm square. So this is the answer. Okay. <clears throat> Last anchorage slip loss is the fourth one. Fourth one. Anchorage slip loss. Okay. So the loss is calculated as del A into E s divided by span of the beam. So the del A is given in question. It is the anchorage slip is 2.5 mm. E s is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5. We know this value divided by 16,000 is the span of the beam. You have to put this span in mm. 2.5 to 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 16,000. The answer is 32.81 Newton per mm square is the anchorage slip loss. Next, the last loss is frictional loss. Last loss is friction loss. Okay. Frictional loss. This loss is calculated as okay. Mu alpha plus kx into initial pre-stress. Okay. So the mu alpha is mu is given in question. It is 0.25. Okay, alpha is also given in question. It is 0.13. Okay, k is the coefficient of friction. It is 0.0015. It is again directly given in question. X is nothing but the span of the beam because the maximum loss is developed at the remote end where there is a fixity. So you have to put 16 meter. And initial prestige is directly not given in question. Okay. So initial prestige is initial prestress is force divided by cross sectional area of uh, wires. Force is 1458 into 10 to 3 divided by area of wire is 1458 into 10 to 3 divided by 1386 is the area of steel after multiplying both these values we get the 59.43 newton per mm square friction loss this is the end of this problem